Hello all, Havoc here. Alright, so in our last episode, we realized that um, <laughs> we're not building on a flat platform, which I kind of realized, but I didn't realize it was this bad. So, um, <laughs> on the questions, and that's not related to the uh, 1000 sub special episode that's coming up. If you haven't yet, ask the question. Just put uh, questions for episode or Q&A or something like that in your comment down below. And uh, yeah, ask a question and we're going to do like a little Q&A session once we hit the 1000 sub mark. Okay, so but one of the questions was, is why are we building on a platform that's all wonky? Um, this is not related to the Q&A session, but uh, that's because I was um, hurrying. So that's why. And then uh, Vagabond uh, gets the uh, Cookie of the Day award for Cookie Day. Is to turn this into a rover and drive it out instead of trying to hook it back up as a trailer. Brilliant. And yes, that is what we're going to do. Cut this free. Ooh, it, it wobbled. That was kind of sketchy. Cut this one. Oh, that's super sketchy. Can we put at least... Uh, oh, oh. Can we cut one more? No, we can't. Alright. Oh, you need to still play to have it. Come on. Okay, plate. Oh, it helps if you click where you can type. Okay. All right. Oh, man. This. I can't wait for this to become more uh, solidified and. Uh, uh, guaranteed thing here because this is super sketchy and so uncomfortable okay so it's gonna let us do it there all right cool um was it plate yeah Perfect. All right. So, um, do we put the truck in first or that in first? I guess the truck first, huh? Because it's smaller. I mean, nice to get onto welded grid. This is so janky. All right, so in theory, we just need to get this guy over here. That'll work there. Okay. And then let's use one of the new cockpits. G. Trying to see if they're on the first page, so I know they're not in the cockpit section. Why couldn't they just? Mm. What is it going to be called? It's going to be called. Um, oh, Sparks of the Future Wasteland update. There we go. So we got the buggy style right here. That's the one I want to use. Yeah, there are no ports on it. All 
Perfect. Problem. <laughs> I turned steering off. Better. Okay. All right. So now, uh, let's go ahead and put all this back. Now we can take apart all of this. And work from a flat platform for once. <laughs> all right, we have hydrogen. I'm just going to use it, get it done super quick. Oh no, our tools. Okay. Um, we need to go get our tools. Ooh, okay. What? Where's our good tools? Oh, never mind. <sighs> what are those? What? That's what? All right. <laughs> um, why are there tools at the bottom of the canyon? <laughs> It's a long ways down. Come on, go Havoc. Go, go, go. Come on, go, go, go 20. Almost landed down there twice. Okay. Come on, have it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay. This platform is still going to be temporary. Uh, I might actually get it welded up. I'm, I'm not sure. Um, for the time being. But I just want something we can get our vehicle out on and park it. Let's see, Wait. and collect as much power for as long as we can. Come on. All right, so for those of you with the astute eye may have noticed that um, we have the small ship mega pack installed in the mod list. Which, um, although I'm the person who put the mod list together, I uh, totally forgot about. So um, here I am struggling to get assemblers and refiners and stuff down where we can be placing them on this. Uh, so what I want to do is I want to put a connector on this and back this up and get it onto a connector.
So not only is it, uh, oh, come on, really? This is why I don't want to be driving on grids. It's so janky. Uh, so what will happen is, is we'll be able to charge this up from the wind power of the station and then solar when we when I almost walked off the edge I need to get some guardrails up on this um, Eddie was making jokes about uh, the health and safety peoples and right now I'm oh, I felt that right there alright so let's pull forward a little bit all right, that should do there. So let's go ahead and grab a connector. I think it's going to be too low. Now nah, we'll be all right. We can do it something like that. Yeah, we'll be fine. It's fine. It's fine. Seven. Okay, hold on. Let's. That's in our build planner, so why? Oh, it's probably pulling out the small grid version. No, it's not. I don't get why it's not working. Uh, let's see, we don't need you, you, or you. Um, once we get a solid facility in place where our survival kit is not under a constant state of uh, turmoil, uh, we're going to turn off spawn with tools. So that will be a thing here pretty soon. There we go. Switch lock. I put it on the wrong side. I'm gonna move that. Because otherwise, I'm going to drive off the edge. I know I will. All right, so park. That looks pretty good. A little bit. There we go. Come on. There we go. Locked. Okay. So now we should be getting some pretty good power between the wind turbine and the two solar generators. Point 0.6, point 0.7. Okay, so they're both going up. Point 0.4, point 0.5. Okay, so they're both going up. Uh, we can get some more wind turbines down. That's going to help drastically with that. Oh, man. Oh, wrong walk, Havoc. So I've seen a few other YouTubers. They're, they're turning the jetpack off. And <laughs> I'm actually... I'm kind of in the mindset that it being turned on is probably more hazardous than turning it off entirely because you have so little use of hydrogen that when you go to use it it's it's perilous uh, like we have only 40 percent get go 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 and it the with the gravity being as high as it is come on come on kid there we go. 
it's sketchy. I mean, that's and that's putting it nicely. All right, so there's that. Turn that off. Hey, we're off flat ground, guys. That 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 was only kind of sketchy. Let's get these in. Perfect. Okay, so are you making power still? That's not look like it's gaining power. Thirty-four point three, one hundred point oh three. Come on. Come on, one of those two numbers, one of these two numbers need to move in the positive direction. I don't think we're gaining any power. I think the two smaller batteries on the rover might be charging, but this one is just still made it out. Which means we need to get more wind turbines down. So, gee. Because we need to be able to produce uh, content and right, components while um, the sun's down, and that won't be lasting much longer. Wait, what? We can put these on small grid? No way. This, there's no way. Nuh-uh. How many do we need? We need 24 girders. There's no way. I, I don't believe that's going to work. Production. Oh, we didn't bring any iron over here. All the iron with me, please. Oh, and that one girder. Oh, that's over there. It is nice being on a flat surface now. Just, just saying. Um, I don't feel like I'm going to fall just walking. If this turns, this is going to be so cheaty. That's so cheaty. Okay. I, I acknowledge that that's cheaty, and we're not going to use it. So, yeah. Although it's as expensive as a full-size one, might not be so cheaty. That's pretty expensive. I really would like to be able to get over this. Thank you. That would be nice. Where are we at now? Well, that's a pretty consistent uptick now. All right, that makes me feel better. Okay, power sorted, which means we now have a active um, survival kit. That That's fantastic. So we have a place to spawn because I was afraid that was gonna become an issue. How much are these construction components, huh? Why not get out of the way? Can 
cannot be placed because your rover's in the way. That's... I don't believe in... I don't think that's fair. But, I mean, it is what it is. There. Um, minus this. But it's still better than nothing. Especially when we're going to be walking. Right where we need to walk is the spot we can't actually put it down. So let's move this real quick. Better. All right. And park. Okay. Better, safer, guardrails. Fantastic. All right, so next up was we're going to need to start working on how we're going to carve this out. Um, so if we go there, right? So it's this guy right here. So the left frame. Wow, that's way bigger than I remember. That is way bigger than I remember. And we just used this like last week. <laughs> wow, okay, so that means we need to inset that in quite a ways. That's quite an opening too. All right, so which means we need something that can dig, like dig. Do you feel up to the job, buddy? Um, I don't think we have the proper facilities for this. I don't want to do it by hand. And um, there's no way I'm going to be able to get that. Come on. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a drill on the front of this guy. Warp two or three. All right, so let's go G. Tubing. Interior plates. Um, well actually, let's take that off and go to a straight tube. It's uh, cheaper than what we're doing anyway. We're gonna come out one more. Yeah. Okay, and then I've got some off the wall stuff. We'll have to play with like this one I've been using forever. So we're gonna have to play with some of these other ones. Uh, the azimuth ones I know are super OP. 
So we're going to use them. They're also very, very power hungry too. Yeah, go back to number eight, nine. All right, let's see how much of this we can get welded up. Oh, it's tech, come on, use your dampeners, Havoc. Motors, motors, and large tubes. All right. Okay, that should do. Two more large tubes, and we're good. We'll give this a go, see how this is going to run. Alright, here we go. Helps you put it on the toolbar, Havoc. So that's too low, but I mean, it's going to work. So here's the dig. <laughs> dig, see what I did there? Um, we're already full. All right. Um, and I need to add an iron plate. Do you have any? No. So what we're going to need to do is every couple I'm going to have to get out and add in Unless we get our projector set up. We can get a projector set up, then we can project in grids. So how do we want to offload now? Ah, oh, the struggles. Okay. Um, we're going to have an ejector and have the bobs pick it up here process and leave the survival kit in processing. Wow, the struggles. Um kind of torn for both directions. Um, man, it's getting dark fast. Let's get some new headlights on here. Let's go with this one.
Really? Why can't I put that there? There we go. Intensity up. And offset up. That's going the wrong way. It's going left to right. Why is it? <sighs> Alright, I'll take what I can get. Jeez, for that matter, you just put one of those right here. Oh, well, I guess we just took the cab off our truck here. Oops. All right, um, that was fun. So I'll just put one of those lights right there. Really? Come on. Like so, like so. Maximum effort. And watch the offsets are like sideways. Which is fun for this instance because now we're projecting left to right. So I don't know. Say look at that. May there be light. Alright, so what we're gonna do is in our next episode. In our next episode, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and um, we're going to have to get some type of production set up. So we need a basic refinery at the very least. We can start working towards a full-size refinery. Maybe we can put a full-size refinery on this guy. Because we have, like I said, we have the small ship Mega Mod. Oh, it's right there, six. So we could put a full-size refinery on here. They're slow and they're power hungry, but... That's, I mean, it's feasible. And so that would just produce lots and lots of stuff. So we'll work on this in the next episode and we'll be able to start maybe putting ejectors, take these hydrogen thrusters off and eject the rock and let uh, Bob pick it up and get it processed. It's probably gonna be the quickest way. So appreciate all the support you guys bring to the channel. Don't forget to leave your Q&A question for the uh, 1000 sub uh, special coming up and that's probably gonna be an hour episode too by the way so uh, just a little bit i want to play so that gives us both something for the 1k mark so thanks for being here thanks for watching this is havoc have fun and keep gaming